know if your pornography habit has turned into something a little more serious? How do you know if you really have kind of crossed the line and maybe you need help and maybe it's turning into more of a problem or an addiction? That's kind of a difficult place to be because for a lot of people, we spend a lot of time justifying that place. Um, and it looks different for everybody. And I in no way am saying that if you look at pornography, you have a problem or an addiction. That's just not true. Um, but some people do, right? Some people have a problem and they stay kind of stuck in denial for a long time. And sometimes if that is too long, then they end up with pretty serious consequences and in pretty kind of dire situations that maybe impact other areas of your life. So we talk about this a lot um, on Porn Reboot and in other videos, how to tell if you may be struggling with pornography. We even have a survey that you can take um, on our website to see if maybe you do have a problem. Maybe you're wondering and, and you want to take that survey and see if you do. Um, so I wanted to shoot another video on this and really kind of talk about some more of the ways that I think kind of can signal to you like, hey, maybe this is not quite completely in my control anymore. Maybe I have a little bit more of a problem. And these are things that I see in my clients. These are the things that people are usually, when they come in sort of in the limbo phase or they're starting to talk through things, these are the things that usually come up for them and shows them that there's more of a problem. Um, now I'm not going to get into arguing you know, what a pornography addiction looks like and if that's even a real thing. Uh, to me, the bottom line is that even research is backing up that this is a problem for a lot of people um, and it's impacting a lot of people in a negative way. And enough so that it's impacting other areas of their life and they're obsessively watching. Um, so that's, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, I think it's, it's really not helpful, I don't think, for clients to argue you know, the, the terminology. Um, the fact is it's impacting people negatively um, and those people need help. So, if you may be one of those people, let's go through some, some of the top signs um, that you may be struggling with a pornography addiction and maybe you need a little bit more help or support. So, five things. Five things that I see in my clients. Um, one, you're obsessively watching. Okay, so watching porn a handful of times or more, right, does not necessarily mean you have a problem or a habit or an addiction. Okay, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Watching obsessively though, being preoccupied with watching, frequently having thoughts and urges that consume your mind until you're planning on when you're gonna watch next or what you're gonna watch next or how you're going to do that. Um, or justifying ways that you can, you know, watch more, watch again, uh, maybe uh, those things consuming your mind, those things indicate that maybe you have more of a problem, right? That's starting to turn into more of an obsession. That's not just something like that happens once in a while, right? That's something that is kind of taking over your mind and it's obviously kind of digging itself into your mind more. So you're obsessively watching, that's one. Two, you've tried to stop, but you can't, right? So this is one of those things that for everything, it kind of signifies you've crossed over from a habit to a real problem. And that really is if you've tried to quit and you can't. Maybe you've tried many times to quit and it's just not successful. Um, maybe you've tried different avenues and you have really strong intentions to quit or to cut back, but inevitably you're back there watching again. Um, and that's really tough for people, especially if they're really determined to quit. And maybe they have reasons why they want to quit. You know, it's impacting life in certain ways. Maybe it doesn't line up with some of their beliefs. Maybe a partner is upset about it. Whatever that is, they have reasons and they really want to quit. And then they are back watching again. That can be really hard. So. The psychological impact of that can be really devastating because 
we feel out of control. We feel like we have no control over our lives, especially if it's like, I want to get rid of this. I want to be done with this. And then I'm doing it again. That can be really hard for people. Um, it also brings up a lot of shame, right? Um, it brings up a lot of shame because we feel bad about ourselves. And then a lot of negative talk shows up. Like, what kind of person am I, am I if I can't even quit this? I can't even stop watching this. Like, we start to go into the what's wrong with me stuff. So that is a really difficult one. Um, and that, again, signals maybe you have more of a problem. Three, you've escalated in the type and frequency of porn that you watch, right? Again, just like other addictions, when we get more into them, we need more of a high to feel the same way that we did before, right? So just like with a drug, we need more and more doses to get that same high, right? Because your body gets used to it. That's the same thing with porn. So the more you watch, the more you watch, the more you watch, the more you kind of need to up things to kind of feel the same, right? So if you've started to notice that you're escalating in the you know type of porn, the frequency that you're watching, those things are starting to escalate, that can be a sign that, hey, maybe you have more of a problem. It's taking a lot of, you know, the similar, a similar route to other addictions, right? And that's, that's why we use the word addiction sometimes, because in a lot of these ways, it looks similar. You're escalating in that behavior, right? And that is similar to an addiction. Um, so if you're noticing that, that could be a sign. Um, the type of porn can be especially difficult for people if it's escalating. Um, and I have a lot of people who come in and they are so ashamed because they are watching things that they don't agree with or that don't line up for them personally or don't line up for their beliefs with their beliefs or you know they're like oh, man like if my wife found out or if so and so found out like they would be really shocked and that that just doesn't feel right to them they feel so bad about it but they've escalated to this point um, and that can really be difficult so again that can bring up so much shame and guilt because you can't believe that you're watching what you're watching, right? It's escalated to that point. Um, so, number four, you have difficulty engaging with other people in social situations. Um, so, if you're a man, this may be that you have a hard time talking to people and getting dates, right? Um, can show up exactly the same way for women. Right? This can look the same for everybody. You are more awkward in social situations. And you may have turned to porn because you had difficulty engaging in social situations before. Right? That could be a route. Maybe you really had trouble going out with people and engaging with people socially, and so you turned to porn um, in that way. It also could go the other direction, though. You find yourself having a harder time engaging with people socially after you've started watching more porn. So it can kind of go either way and negatively impact you either way. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The problem with this is porn is fake, right? It's a fake world. It's secretive. It requires no real life effort or vulnerability. So if you never develop those skills on how to connect with someone on a vulnerable level or an intimate level, then this doesn't help at all, right? It actually hurts. Um, and then if, if you have been able to do that in the past, but you've got so caught up in watching um, and creating this arousal pattern to this fake world, then it really impacts your ability to engage with people. Um, and those are some serious impacts. So the more you feed this fake, right, not real life brain pathway, the more it can be damaging, especially in this way of engaging with other people, engaging with people in an intimate way. Um, if you're in a relationship already, you may find that there's an increased strain on the relationship. Maybe you have a difficult, difficulty uh, connecting with your partner. Maybe 
they're just not as attractive to you anymore. Maybe you just don't feel that same way that you did with them before. Um, this can also show up in, as erectile dysfunction in men. So it's really impacting your relationships. Whether you have those now or you would like them, it's negatively impacting those. So that's a big one. So the last one that I'm going to talk about today is you experiencing your you are experiencing worsening depression and anxiety, and you probably have difficulty focusing. So in the same way, this can kind of go either way. Maybe you already had depression and anxiety, and the more you're watching porn, the worse it's getting. Or maybe you started watching porn and now you're feeling that you are more depressed and anxious. So it can kind of go either way, and either way it impacts it really negatively. It can bring up those symptoms in you, or it can make them worse. Um, so this really, I mean, it goes into the guilt and shame again, right? Um, because this just leaves you feeling down. It leaves you feeling bad about yourself, really bad about yourself. All of these things leave you feeling bad about yourself. Um, and if you are already struggling with depression and you feel like it's getting worse, um, the more you're kind of falling into this habit and falling into this addiction, the worse you may find that this will get. The less productive you are, the less motivated you are. All of those are signs that you may need um, to get some support for this and some help for this. So if you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it could be a sign that you need some help. Now these aren't, you know, all of the symptoms, there's so many symptoms. You don't have to have all of these or any of these to, you know, mean that you have a problem, but these give you a good idea that if you're experiencing some of these or a lot of these, you probably need some support. Um, and support can look really different. Nowadays there's so many cool um, ways to get support, whether that's in person or online. Uh, we have the Porn Reboot Program that's really great and it offers a really solid online support system for you that includes videos and homework and all of that. It also includes interaction with us so you can directly interact with us and get help. Um, but don't think that just because you don't want to go in, in a certain avenue uh, to get help that help isn't out there, there is so many options for you. There are so many options for you. Um, so I, you owe it to yourself to check some of those out and find what works best for you and get some help and support. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to us. Check out the Porn Reboot program. See what you think. We also have a lot of free resources on there. So check those out. See what you think and let us know.